In this video, I'm going to share the top five free Amazon Merch tools with you that you can use to save a lot of time and to help increase your sales. Let's start off with some honorable mentions. These are tools that I personally use all the time, but they didn't quite make it into the top five countdown. The first one being Merch by Amazon Trademark Protection. This is a free Chrome extension. I will have a link to this and all of the other tools mentioned in the description down below. And I think this is essential if you're doing research on Amazon because if you're on a product page, you can click this button at the top and it will highlight trademarked words in your listing. And even better, you can now click on the title or the brand name and then it will show you what these trademarks are. And you can even click on the serial number right here and it will open up the entry on the USPTO and you can double check, you know, is this live? In this case, it's actually canceled. And you can also go onto the goods and services and see what was actually protected under this trademark. So really handy tool. I use it all the time during my research. And if you don't have it installed yet, I would definitely recommend it. Honorable mention number two is Flameshot. And I'm guessing most of you have never heard of this tool and that's because it's not directly related to print on demand, but it's for a task that a lot of print on demand sellers use and that is taking screenshots. So Flameshot, I started using it late last year and has quickly become my favorite screenshot tool. Let me show you how it works. If you've got it installed on your device and you hit print screen, you can then draw out a box you can change the size of this box, you can move it around, and you've got some really cool additional features right here, such as you can pixelate certain elements within your screenshot right here. You can also draw a box around certain things if you want to highlight a part of this design, for example, or you can use this arrow tool to quickly draw out arrows to certain elements. You've also got a text function right here. You can draw out lines, and then, yeah, you've got the ability to either copy this, to then paste it into a, a chat box, or you can save it on your device. So there's so many features in this, really, really cool tool. If you're doing research a lot for print on demand, you've probably needed a screenshot tool before, and this is the best one in my opinion. Honorable mention number three is Flying Research. And I know this is a paid tool, that's why it didn't make it into the countdown, but I still wanted to show you this because even in the free plan, which I'm logged into right here with a different account, it has some really cool features. Specifically, if we scroll down on the left and go to keyword search down here, you can actually find out search volume for a specific keyword for free, which I think is pretty amazing. So if I type in cat shirt right here and hit search, it will show me, I mean, some of these things are blurred out in the free version, but you do get the search volume for cat shirts right here for both Google and for Amazon, which is really, really handy to do some advanced keyword research, whether it is for ads or just for your listing data. This is on the free plan. So this is really, really cool. And let me try this with a different one right here. Let's do pickleball t-shirt and compare that to the cat. So here the search volume is significantly lower. And you also get a little indicator of the current trend. Over the 30 days, the search volume went down right here for this one. And you see the total products index. And for this, this is including third party sellers, Amazon Seller Central, not just Amazon Merch products, but yeah, quick little overview and yeah, cool way to look up the search volume for both Google and Amazon totally for free. In the number five spot, we have Producta for Merch by Amazon. Now, this used to be my number one favorite free tool for Amazon Merch sellers, but it's definitely dropped. And there's multiple reasons for that. First of all, the tools that are in the number one and two spot are absolutely amazing. So you don't want to miss out on those. But the other thing is this product was sold and the new developers have not really been updating it. So some of the features have started to break, which is very unfortunate, but there is still a lot of features that actually work and that can really help you out during your workflow. And I'll go into a few of those now. So the first thing is, if you have Producta installed, you will notice some changes on your dashboard, especially whilst you're creating new listings. So we've got all of these additional shortcut buttons right here, which let you, for example, select all of the light colors at the click of one button or all of the dark colors, or you can just say none and then only choose you know, a couple of colors that work best. You can also then say, apply these colors that I have selected right now to all of the other products in my listing. So if I go back up, I've got a V-necks, tank tops, hoodie selected. And if I click to all, it will now run through and apply those same settings to all of the other products. There is also some pricing shortcuts, for example, where you can match the price of these products, um, kind of like this right here. And it will then you know, have the same pricing. It doesn't work for the UK, but you get the gist. Um, you can also assign a specific royalty number to this product or all of your products if you always want to have you know, a certain royalty, you can do that in bulk. So yeah, tons of quick 
time-saving buttons right here within the create page. You also get additional tabs at the top, the dashboard and the statistics are really handy for tracking your sales, especially if you're not a big fan of pretty merch. And then the products and design tabs are for kind of keeping your catalog organized and filtering through it and potentially like deleting old listings, whatever it may be you need to do but I think some of those features in those tabs have started to break. I personally have stopped using them. I'm mostly using Merch Rex for that kind of thing right now, but yeah, still tons of features right here on the Create page. And then if you're doing research, you will also get this additional bar at the top with a ton of statistics uh, based on your search term. And then whilst you're scrolling through results, Producta adds the BSR rank right here in green and some additional things like the date the product was added. This is really handy. I look at that a lot. So yeah, it helps during your research as well. It is quite a long cluttered box because it adds a lot of keywords that are in the listing as well for easy access with copying and stuff like that. So it does make it a little bit clunky and cluttered whilst doing research. But if you like the additional data, then this is another bonus. If you want to learn more about Producta, I do have an old video that's over 20 minutes long going over all of its features or a lot of its features. So these were just a few of the highlights. And if you want to learn more, check out that video. In the number four spot, we have AMZ Suggestion Expander. This is another Chrome extension and it's extremely useful whilst doing research. The way it works is anything you type into the search bar, it gives you way more suggestions of what people are actually typing in and searching for on Amazon. For example, the social club designs have been very popular on, on both Etsy and on Amazon. So why don't we type in social club right here and just see what's being auto suggested. So normally you wouldn't get this many suggestions and based on how much you type in right here, they will also change. So definitely test that out. But let's see what it says right here. We've got pickleball social club, sideline social club, Buena Vista, Margarita, then here's some different product types on the left and then some keywords after. So anti-social moms club, feral moms social club. We know that's selling. I've seen that before. What if we type in shirt? Does it change the results? We've got porch goose social club shirt. I've never heard of that before, but if it's showing up here, then people are searching for it. Let's do another example. Some things that also are worth trying out like, uh, like scalable phrases. So I'd rather be and just see what's being auto filled in right here because we've got things like I'd rather be sleeping shirt. I've never thought of that for this phrase. I'd rather be kayaking. I'd rather be camping, hunting, hiking. I'd rather burn than bloom. That's interesting. Never seen that phrase before. Not sure if it works on a t-shirt, but you can always, you know, click on these and actually see what's behind them. So I'd rather be sleeping. You can see some of these have quite a lot of reviews. So maybe this is an interesting niche, right? And whilst you're looking through here, you might find a new keyword to type in at the top. So um, what have we got? Sleep mode. I see a lot of sloths in these examples. So why don't we type in sloth shirt and see what people are typing in related to sloths. And we've got sloth shirt for a 5T girl. Not sure what that is. A Sid the sloth that is trademarked sloth Hawaiian shirt, sloth running team shirt, sloth hiking team shirt. Those are some pretty cool long tail keywords for the sloth niche. So I think you get the idea. Sometimes you get some really, really good kind of expanded suggestions right here that you wouldn't have found without the Chrome extension. It doesn't always work. So sometimes you will only just see you know some product types being suggested and no long tail keywords. But in most cases, this is a massive, massive expansion of your research and it lets you find a lot more ideas more easily and quickly. Next up, we've got what's probably the most commonly used free research tool out there, and that is the Merge Research website. This is a very simple search mask, and what it does is it filters out Amazon Merge products. You can change the marketplace, you can change the product type right here, and you can also enter a specific search term. But in many cases, it makes sense to just leave this blank. And then what you can do is change this from a featured up here, so the sorting, we can change that to newest arrivals. And then if you have either DS, Amazon Quick View, or Product installed, you will get the BSR rank right here underneath these products. And these should all be recently posted. So all of these, I'm recording this on the, on May the 7th, they say May the 6th. And surprisingly, a lot of them have a very low BSR. Do they have something in common? Yes, all of them say Alcatraz. If we scroll down further, can we see anything else? There's another Alcatraz shirt right here, just a dad who came back with the milk. Also really good BSR posted May the 5th. 
I survived a seminar, not sure what that is, but also really good BSR very recently posted. So as you can see, you can find a lot of different ideas right here really, really quickly. And they're all Amazon Merch product as well. Now these two absolutely blow my mind right here. They have an 8,000 and a 3,000 BSR, which is super low. And they were all published just a few days ago. Yeah, I'm, I'm like double checking because I can't really believe this. No idea how they got it to sell that well so quickly, like even with ads, that would be really impressive. So yeah, those are definitely designs that are getting a ton of sales considering how recently they're posted. And here we have one without a BSR. So that will also obviously slip in. I'm surprised actually that almost all of these have really, really good BSRs. Typically you will see, if you have it sorted by newest listings, you will see more listings that have a really high or no BSR, but you want to look out for patterns. You want to look out for the low BSRs because that often shows potential. This is more of a technique of finding trends, but you can also find evergreen niche ideas in this list typically. So for example, chicken raising and Jesus praising, that seems more like an evergreen niche to me. It's probably not something that will die off after a few days. There's always going to be people who like chicken and Jesus. And this was posted May 3rd and it has a 300k BSR. So there definitely seems to be potential with that kind of cross niching approach. So really handy tool. And you can also type in a specific search term and then it will filter out just the Amazon merch results. You can kind of gauge the competition a bit better. You can also try different markets if you want. And I also encourage you to try out some different products because sometimes there'll be some new sellers on some of these other products right here, like pop sockets, or phone cases that you wouldn't have stumbled upon if you always just look at t-shirts. The second place goes to ChatGPT. This is probably a must use tool at this point for print and demand sellers. And the free plan actually goes a long way for helping you come up with t-shirt design ideas, for helping you with researching specific niches or target audiences. And you can even use custom GPTs now, which I'll show you in a second. You can also generate images with the new 4 model. It just takes a little bit longer and it gets rate limited quite quickly on the free version, unfortunately, but it does work, which is cool. So so one thing you can do, for example, is say, help me come up with t-shirt design ideas for niche. So in this case, just fishing as an example, you hit enter and it should give you a bit of a list back fairly quickly. So we've got real cool dad and then a cartoon of a dad holding a fish wearing sunglasses. So it gives you a suggestion for the graphic as well. A fish so don't choke people. That's pretty funny. And I've seen that phrase working in a variety of niches. Then we've got some different styles right here. So vintage and retro suggestions as well and some word play options too. So you could specifically ask it, you know, I want some word play designs or t-shirt design ideas for fishing or whichever niche you want to enter if this is the kind of style you like. And technically you should also be able to ask it right here to generate, for example, version three. So let me just put that right here. Please generate this and then we'll hit enter. Now, if you get a message right here saying that you have to wait because yeah, this one, lots of people are creating images right now. So this might take a bit. We'll notify you when your image is ready. If you don't want to sit there kind of refreshing this um, and you have multiple chats, so you don't want to keep searching for the right image once it's finally done, you can just come to the library over here. And this is where all of the images are going to be saved and found in one place. So yeah, this is on a free account. So it does happen to me as well. It is a little bit limited and takes longer with the image generation, unfortunately. But the cool thing is you can now also get access to the GPTs on the free plan. This wasn't always the case, but now if you click on explore right here, you can type in print on demand, hit enter, and you'll get a list of popular custom GPTs for POD sellers. And I've actually got one as well, which you can find if you type in merch on demand. This one right here, the merchant demand listing assistant. If you click on this and start a chat, you can essentially either create a listing for a specific niche uh, then you can create a listing based on a list of keywords that you want to be included, or you can just upload your design and it will create a listing based on that design. So let's try this middle option right here as an example. Let's do a few fishing keywords to stick with the example. So fishing, funny, and we'll do retro fish angler. And yeah, let's just hit enter on that and see what it gives us back. So you'd get a minimal listing where it's just the title and the brand name. Very, very clean and simple. Funny retro fishing angler. Then we've got a traditional listing, which has a longer title and also the bullets filled in right here. So this is just an example of my GPT. There is tons more in the GPT library that you can also use for niche research, for generating listings, images, whatever it may be you're looking for. And now if I go to the library, we should see that the previous image right here finished. So hooked on fishing forced to work. So that only took a few minutes to generate. And whilst it looks a little bit plain the way it is right here with the kind of single color style um, and, and the uh, very 
straightforward layout, you can still ask it for modifications as well, like give this some more color and a more dynamic font layout. Let's try that out, see what it comes back with. And here we are, this is the iterated version. Does it look perfect? No, in my opinion. Um, it does look a little bit childish now, but it definitely followed the instructions. It is more colorful now, and the text is a little bit more dynamic. Although in this case, if you're targeting men who like fishing, I think the original might be the better option right here. Nevertheless, you can see that this is a very easy to use AI tool with a lot of variety for coming up with ideas, doing research, writing listings, all sorts of things that help you out in the print and demand world. And the winner of this countdown and the number one spot goes to Snap for Merch On Demand. This is very quickly replacing Producta, at least in my opinion, because it only started, I think, um, was it maybe September or October last year when we got introduced to Tumblr and Amazon Merch. That was the beginning of this Chrome extension right here. And its only purpose back then was to resize Tumblr. Now, a few months later, it has bulk uploads, kind of a, a free upload automation service, which is absolutely amazing. I've had a completely separate video that goes in depth on explaining that. But to show you a few things that it does, first of all, they just added a feature where if you find copycats of your design, you can report them very, very easily with just a few clicks. So let's say you're scrolling through your niche and you see, hey, this, this person copied my design and this person did as well. Then you can drag them into this box right here in the bottom right corner. And I know these designs don't look anywhere close to each other, but it's just an example to show you, you can easily drag and drop listings into this if they copied you and then you can open this up you can select all of these listings in bulk and then report them with just a few simple steps you just have to enter your ASIN to make sure that you were the first person to upload that design and then a few settings to confirm the report so this is an amazing feature that I've never seen anywhere like reporting copyright infringement has been extremely difficult up to now and the fact that we can now do it for free a lot easier and quicker is amazing additionally the interface whilst you're creating products also changes so you've got this extra box for example if you're uploading designs that are not the right dimensions and that are maybe too high in file format like say, let's say you've got a file that's 30 megabytes it's an ai design you upscaled it just drop it into here and it will be resized and kind of downscaled in terms of its file size automatically for you it will still be high quality and look good in the print but the file size will be reduced to under 25 mb all automatically for you which is amazing on top of that tons and tons of time saving features for example if I quickly upload a design right here again, you can save profiles. So once you've got all of your colors and your prices selected, you can click create profile right here and save that with this specific names. So for example, I've got one for black. Uh, listings and, and designs that work on plaque and I have one for light designs with high pricing right here and then you can uh, select that profile and click execute and it will apply it to everything you also have a color profile right here so I know this design works on lighter colors so I can choose that option right here hit apply and it will just run through and select light for pretty much every product without me having to do anything really really handy feature here we've got the uh, tumbler resize option which is kind of how it started and we have a bunch of different options here for one-sided prints double-sided prints and two different sides so if you want your front print to look different than the back print on this tumbler you can also do that easily with this drag and drop feature let me just demonstrate how this works let's set this to maybe 85 percent apply and upload and now it just does the entire process in the background for me really really cool if we go into the zipper we can do like front pocket print if you prefer that for example there we go that's really handy and you can also choose different pricing templates right here at the click of a single button if you want the maximum prices for this product just click on that and once again i'm not using my hands is doing it all for me so yeah the the ideas for this tool are in my opinion better than they ever were with Producta, and it's only been a few months like there's still a lot of features to come nemo is very very active and passionate about this tool and keeps updating it on almost like a weekly basis and yeah these are just some of the features there is still more that i didn't talk about but definitely i think right now this is the best free chrome extension for amazon merch and a quick bonus tip if you like free tools you probably also like free resources and on philipanders.com my website you can download a ton of those so we've got prompt guides right here for ideogram mid journey dally 3 and flux and you can find these all in the freebies section by the way there's also a bunch of graphics bundles right here you can use these commercially there's a, a set of 100 silhouettes which i'd completely forgotten about and there's there's quite a lot of stuff in here textures seasonal t-shirt niches kind of an overview for each month um there's a collection of some of my favorite free fonts as well and there's a second page in case you didn't know there's some additional files here 
here as well to download. You can add them to your cart like this very simply and then just check out right here at the bottom. So all of this stuff for free on philipanders.com in the freebie section. If you're going to be using Snap from now on, you would massively benefit from watching this video next where I go in depth on their bulk upload feature as well as some other tips and tricks.